black me. Sorry about that, folks. I dropped the camera and it came flying apart. But we're back. Dancing between the raindrops here in Lafayette Park in Washington, D.C. We're getting ready to uh, listen to the beginning of this event. Start the event here. <laughs> We're going to declassify for a few minutes. <laughs> it's a little wet out here today, so that's why we're a little bit getting started. There's about 50, maybe 100 people down here in Lafayette Park in Washington, D.C. Here from Split the Rock. Poetry reading. We're going to have a series of poets, and we're going to be talking about the surveillance state and the NSA. So glad you could join us. Sorry about that little incident earlier. I dropped the camera. But it's all working. Again. Dealing with an umbrella tier too, as well. So Getting wet for all you viewers. If you're up in live stream, please retweet me at Freeman Sullivan. You can log into the social stream for chat. There we go. The rules are somewhat absurd here with the Parks Department. Uh, for those of you who watched my earlier live streams, when we uh, were getting harassed about having a tent down here, it's a peace vigil, you'll know. We're going to start in three minutes. Um, there you go, Sarah, from Code Pink. Does anyone need paper, pencil? Yeah. Everybody's good. We're going to have a bunch of poets for you. Yeah, I'm going to say, how is this going to work? <laughs> study rain today. Across the street from the White House. Mm -hmm. You can see it in the background there. Here's where all the evil decisions get made. Bit of a downpour right now. out about this check out their Facebook page stop the surveillance state uh, you can search for that on Facebook that's how I found out about this event. Uh, this event is sponsored by Code Pink and we're down here at Lafayette Square in Washington DC a uh, stone's throw away from the White House then you can see it in the background 
<laughs> You're dealing with an umbrella here and holding the camera, so please forgive. And this is not spying. This is enhanced, enhanced looking. Enhanced looking and listening. No, I'm not on the list. I'm not doing my job. You don't see me, I'm not really here. Surveillance data is everywhere, folks. So who's watching the watchers? That's the question everybody wants to ask these days. Anyway, uh, it's with the Rock Poetry Festival is about ready to begin. Hey, how you doing there? Can I stop glasses? Yeah, sure. Just got to return at the end of the event. Okay. I'll take a picture of you. Oh, you mean to hold something for you? Yeah, hold the umbrella for a second. Okay. Where are you now? I'm like crazy. There we go. Thank you. I got to take a picture of you. Hang on. Perfect. Okay, thanks. Oh, so sorry. Did you guys for anybody? All right. Thanks. I'll grab those from you. Okay, yeah, I'll make sure you get them. There you go, folks. The new look for the 21st century in the NSA. Get your sunglasses today, folks. Right, we're getting ready to start. Yeah, so how's that? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome. My name is Sarah Browning. I'm the executive director of Split This Rock. Yeah. Before we get started, a couple of ground rules for everyone in this beautiful park, this public space, our common space, what we hold together in common. Please, uh, when you read your line, angle yourself like this, so the photographers and the folks can get you a picture of you going in this way. Also, please don't put your bags on the ground, or if you do, stay with your bag. Also, this park is a pack-in, pack-out park, which means there are no garbage cans, so please take your trash with you. Thank you. What else? Okay. That's it for rules. I'm sure there are more. <laughs> Have fun. So we are gathered here today as poets, as activists. We're from all over the nation. We got Texas in the house. We got Southeast DC in the house. Yay. We got the Carolinas. We got Tennessee. Philadelphia. Wisconsin. Massachusetts. Jamaica. Jamaica. From all over our land to say. We are not afraid. We are not afraid of our Muslim sisters and brothers. 
We are not afraid of our neighbors. And we refuse to let fear control our lives and the way in which we organize ourselves as a people. And they have used fear to control us and to, to erect an enormous surveillance state that benefits the massive corporations who get the contracts to carry this out. They erect surveillance cameras. I'm no longer going to call them security cameras. They don't make me feel secure. They are surveillance cameras on every one of our corners. We don't even have mailboxes because they think we're going to deposit a bomb. And no trash cans for exactly the same reason. As poets, we know the danger. We know our history. We know writers are the first ones they come after. So today, we are creating a poem, a group poem, that speaks out for the unfettered imagination, the free exchange of ideas, no matter how unpopular. We will step to the microphone and read a line of poetry. It can be your own. It can be someone else's. Please hand your poem, your line, to Malik when you step down off the stage. We will, not only are we filming it today, and we'll have it on our website, thanks to the magnificent Jack, but we, are, we will type it up and put the poem on the, on the website and on the blog. So watch for it. And we will send it to the White House. All right. So are you ready? Yeah. And uh, you don't need to read, you don't need to say who the line is attributed to. I mean, who wrote the, the line? That's what makes it a real um, patchwork of our voices. And of the voices, 12 words, 12 words maximum, please. That, this is what makes it a true patchwork of voices. So I'm going to begin. Though you have done nothing shameful, they want you to feel ashamed. Even the finch has time to itself, away from the hawk. I know you're listening. Now, really listen. Listen. Hear my truth. The heron does not ask where I came from, where I'm going. Sun, sleep. Snow, rain, let freedom speak, dance, and sing again, again. We are not who you think we are, but even more. I want transparency to be a beautiful word again, not a sign of danger ahead. Tax money is the shovel by which I dig my own grave. Spying, sneaking, stealing, prying, buying. Inside, I am not binary. My heart never gave permission to the pulsing of my blood. Tormenta de electricidad. Nuestras voces. Tumbamos los ojos artificiales del gobierno. Sol esperanza roja, mi amor. Uh, 
A poem can interrupt a war, the fragile bliss of mercy restored. We can't trust poets. We must listen. It makes us safer, right? <laughs> Your silence will not protect you. Dressing for the peace rally. Where's my black underwear? <laughs> NSA, can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> Sacred words are in danger. Sing them, shout them, teach them. Amulets against amnesia. The chemical didn't leak information into Elk River, Charleston, West Virginia. Unknown algorithms twist our words like wires till they ignite. I fling my free words into the free air for friends to catch. Being captured is beside the point. The point is not to surrender. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. <laughs> suspicious minds! <laughs> Good night, moon. Good night, stars. Good night, federal contractors now spying on us. <laughs> I can't spout in a chlorinated tank can't echolocate off your concrete. Listen, look carefully. Poetry is our hands, our feet, our mouths. We can force any agency to make a new choice. When we build a movement, each raising our voice. Our imaginations are the greatest tools we have. Plant and sing. Yeah. Only three states. Before the war, during the war, after the war. Live as if no one is watching. Live because you know they're watching. Beware of becoming so far gone, you are stalking your own face. <laughs> to the NSA, we have our suspense. They said must not, must not be said. They said it must not, must not be said, but we'll say it way leading to a future tense. Make it to us to heal, 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 to heal it up again. Yeah. Uh, I'm just glad somebody finally cares about what I'm jerking off to. <laughs> <laughs> many a head has bent over many a book and asked many a question. <laughs> to reconcile waking with sleeping, ourselves with each other, ourselves with ourselves.
Do I look like the enemy? Have I not only words? There will never be technology to decrypt the power of love and family. Yo, where's my Fourth Amendment? Where's my Fourth Amendment? Where is my Fourth Amendment? <laughs> you can read my words. Don't edit my rough draft thoughts. Freedom is a seed, a plant, a prayer, a chant, a cyclone. We are many. Watch me, hear me, know me, love me, do not fear me. Yo, real men have no need to break promises. Integrity is the foundation for the future. One love. I don't need you to watch me. <laughs> Anyone else? Malik. Everything that I am cannot be seen through suspicious eyes. Or less. Okay. Or fewer. Excuse me. <laughs> Poet critique. Swing oh, sweet cherry, come and for to carry me. Oh. Have you noticed that your stage, it has an army line over here, a military camouflage. Anyways, <laughs> that we should get away from every place, every Abu Ghraib, as always the exonerated. To break the raging silence, our bold voices rise more fiercely kind. So, anyone else? Don't you hear this hammer ring? Gonna split this rock and split it wide. When I split this rock, stand by my side. Thank you all. <laughs> you know we have panels at 11.30. So everyone who's here for Split This Rock, I hope you can find your way back, 16th Street, turn left on M, and all the venues are there. It's, uh, and tonight, we have a spectacular featured reading. Dan Vera will be emceeing. And Tim Siebels, Maria melendez Kelson, Ann Waldman are being featured along with our youth poet Malachi Bird and the winner of the 2014 um, Poetry Contest, Karen Schofield. So join us at the National Geographic Auditorium 730 tonight. Open to the public. Open to the public and free. And it's going to knock your socks off because it didn't last night. Yeah. All right. Thank you all.
And I want to give a big shout out to the volunteers who got up early and came down this morning and have to put this uh, thing together, especially Malik. Yeah. All the folks, the folks in red t-shirts, my colleague Jonathan B. Tucker, where is he? Woo. Jonathan. And Grace? And gray shirts. Yes. <laughs> Remember, um, in fact, Sam, show off your t-shirt. If, if you see anyone with a pale gray t-shirt like this, that means they're a volunteer. So if you have questions throughout with this Rock Poetry Festival, look for the pale gray t-shirts. <laughs> Some of us have those too. <laughs> the red t-shirts were just for today. So we'll see you soon. How are you? How are you? Wayne drops here in Lafayette Square with, with the Rock Poetry Festival. So glad you could join us. We're going to drop the live stream here in a couple of minutes. Our next live stream will be scheduled for 12 noon tomorrow at the Egyptian Consul or Egyptian Embassy, rather, on International Port, right behind UDC. So that's where we'll be at at 12 noon tomorrow, right? Yeah, right. Good. Good. So thanks a lot for everybody who watched. Uh, please uh, follow me on Twitter at Freeman Sullivan or Facebook Clark Sullivan or check out my website a bunch of them but activeststream.com and uh, also the uh, Code Pink website I believe is codepink.org for more information and uh, we're going to say goodbye and have a lovely morning and peace to you.